Here's a quick demonstration on how to test a regression slope coefficient for significance. So I've got a, a, a tiny data set here with a, a two quantitative variables, the number of bedrooms in 11 homes and the price that they sold for. Um, price is the dependent variable, so I choose that as variable one. When I select the second quantitative variable, Insight kindly draws for me a scatter plot of those two variables. <clears throat> if I click Get Summary here, um, calculate so a correlation for me. Um, if I click Get Inference, later versions of Insight. Um, now include this option to to estimate a linear trend between them. Um, so if I if I select that, it adds the ordinary least squares regression line to the to the plot. Clicking OK, it then produces some output for me. Estimates the the intercept uh, and the slope coefficient. Gives. 95% confidence intervals for each of those based on a T distribution with N minus 2 degrees of freedom and also calculates a p-value for the two-sided hypothesis test that those um, the true the underlying coefficients are equal to zero uh, so here we have a p-value for the slope not often interested in the p-value for the intercept um, the slope this E to the minus 0, 06 that's um, telling us that number is 6.8 times 10 to the minus 6. So if we send the decimal point 6 places to the left, um, we end up with 0 0.506. So a tiny number. Um, these, when this notation is used, it's always a tiny number. So we'd reject um, the null hypothesis that that slope is 0. Um, coming back to the Get Summary button, once we've added the line to the plot, um, it actually tells us a little bit more, giving us the equation for that line and the Pearson's correlation coefficient, in addition to Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient.